Welcome to the eighth week of the Business Management Capstone course. This will be a brief overview video for Module 8 assignments. Of course, first make sure that you are reviewing the uh, course content for Module 8. Next, you will need to complete the Chapter 6 Smart Book assignment. Next, you will complete the course participation assignment for this week, which will be choosing the top 10 topics that you found most valuable so far within the course. Keep in mind, this is a team exercise. So the entire team has to participate and submit the file to the discussion board. And of course, each individual person needs to reply to at least two other presentations by the 18th. Next, we have the Chapter 6 quiz. Next, we have the Globus Simulation Mid-Game Peer Evaluations. This is within Globus. I just want to make sure everyone understands that I will not be sharing the results of the evaluations. So please feel free to speak your mind. This will indicate to me which team members are actually participating in the group assignments and which ones are not. Next, we have the Module 8 report, which will be focusing on the five generic competitive strategies. At this point of time, you should be well-versed of how to generate these reports. There are still a few teams that are submitting very basic, I don't even call reports, documents. Um, I will no longer be giving any kind of credit for that kind of submission. You should be providing me with your best work possible, not your least amount of work. So keep that in mind when you're submitting this assignment. Before we jump into the standings, I want to point out Team E again, of course. Their overall game-to-date score, and, and keep in mind what I'm saying, overall, this is overall for any college that is using the simulation this semester, they tied for sixth place. Okay, tremendous. Because if you look at all the different teams ahead of them, you see a, a key word that says university. University of South Alabama. University of Maryland. As you know... University means that's a four-year school. We obviously are a two-year school, community college. So to have one of our teams tied with all these universities are tremendous. And it shows, you know, the depth of the education you are receiving here at Cincinnati State College that you could even tie all these other universities that are in the simulation. And, and keep in mind, there's thousands of teams within the simulation. And to me, tied for sixth place overall. So great job. Of course, that was for last week. But I just want to say tremendous effort and definitely keep it up. So now let's go ahead and look at the standings uh, from last week. So here we have the year nine standings. Obviously, Team E is still in first place, but they did drop a point. Then again, I'm not worried about Team E dropping one point. They're at 107 for year nine. Team D gained four. Nice. 103. And it, normally, if you gain four and you're at 103, you're, you're winning the simulation. It just goes to show you how stiff the competition is this semester. Okay, so Team C is at 96. They gained 8. Fantastic. Team B, they gained 1. Then again, they're moving in the right direction. Team F, they dropped 8. And you would you would think I'd be harsh on them, but, you know, some decisions pay off in the long term, right? You know, you're being strategic. So you could drop some points and still be fine in the long run. So, you know, they're at 90. So I'm, I'm fine with Team F. And Team A... Thankfully, they gained three, or I would be worried for them, and they're at 83. So it's respectable, but if they have any hopes of, you know, shooting for first place, obviously they really got to get going. But then again, 83 is not bad. So now if we look at the game-to-date scoreboard, Team E actually got a bonus point, so they're at 110 for overall game-to-date score. Team D is at 104. They also received a bonus point. So six points, uh, you know, Team D, just to let you know, that seems like a lot, but but it's not. I've seen other teams gain for overall game-to-date score, you know, 10, 15 points. Uh, you know, you don't gain it all at, at once, obviously. But um, Team D, you're, you're not out of it. And even Team F, and I go as far as Team C, at, you know, Team C is at 94. They're not out of it yet going first place. Now, Team B at 91, you know, you're doing you're doing fine, so don't get me wrong, but to go from 91 to surpass Team E, what would have to happen is Team E, team e would obviously have to, to drop a bunch. 
Um, and they could drop five points, and then all of a sudden, they're not that far away. And then uh, Team A, you gain a bonus point, you're at 85. Uh, you know, that's respectable. You know, I, I don't have an issue with actually any team so far this semester. Um, and if I did, Team A would be the only one I would have a slight concern about. But like I said, that, that would be a slight concern. I, I believe they still can come back. Can they get first place? I would venture to guess E and D would really have to drop, you know, in the low hundreds or high nineties to give team A a chance for first place, but you never know. So um, obviously uh, I wouldn't want any team to give up. Everyone still is in the running. Um, it's going to be very interesting if team D takes over team E here soon, because if it, team E has a bad year and obviously they drop one point, that's not a bad year, but they drop five or six points and team D gains 10 points i mean it's very possible even for the overall game to date scoreboard for them to bypass team e uh, with that said uh, team e has a pretty strong handle on first place uh so i, I don't want team e think think that I, I believe they were just going to give it up um just giving the other teams a little bit of hope too though so all right that's all i have for this week please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns have a great week